Okay, and this is going to be our last question. We'd like to figure out the pH of a 0.42 molar NH for CL solution. The KB for ammonia is 1.8 by 10 to the negative 5. So first, we're going to need to account for the dissociation of ammonia. Sorry, of the solution that we're given. And all of this is, of course, um, in aqueous solution. Okay, and so, of course, here we're going to have a one to one to one ratio that we just need to know. Next up, we need to account for the formation of ammonium ions. And this is just through uh, bronsted Lowry from the reaction that represents it. So you just add the H4 plus, plus H2 liquid. So just a typical acid base reaction. Plus MH3. Okay, and so since um, we need the pH, and the pH is equal to the negative log of HCO plus, and we're dealing with HCO plus generally in this equation, instead of the Kb, we need the Ka. But that's totally okay, because we can calculate it quickly from the value that we're given. We know Ka times Kb is equal to Kw. And so... Ka will simply be equal to Kw over Kb. Kw is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 over um, the Kb that we're given, which is going to be 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So our Ka is going to be 5.56 times 10 to the negative 10. Okay. Now, next up, we're going to need an ice table for this reaction to figure out how, what the concentration of those um, hydronium ions is. And so, um, HCO plus and H3. Now, we already know um, what concentration we start with of NH4 plus and the reason for that is because of the one-to-one -one ratio here. So 0.42 to 0.42. So we have zero of this and zero of this. Okay and this means that we're going to be subtracting x here. And this will gain some amount, and this will gain some amount. We don't know what that amount is. So at equilibrium, we will have these concentrations. And so since, um, because of the fact that Ka can also be written as um, this, so it's the rate constant for this um, acid-base reaction. And we know what K is. It's 5.56 times 10 to the negative 10. We simply plug in these values at equilibrium into this and solve for X. Okay, so HDO is going to be X by X over 0 0.42 minus x, and that's going to be x squared over 0 0.42 minus x is equal to 5.56 times 
I'm sent to the negative 10. So from this relation, we can tell that x is going to be pretty small, and we can verify that at the end, which means that subtracting it from 0.42 isn't going to make that much of a difference in our calculation. And so we can actually forget about this and just write it as x squared over 0.42 is equal to 5.56 times 10 to the negative 10. Now from there, simply isolate 4x. And we get x is the square root of 5.56 by 10 to the negative 10 multiplied by 0 0.42, meaning x is going to be 1.53 times 10 to the negative 5. And so this is going to be our concentration of hydronium ions at equilibrium. And so next up, we simply plug that into our pH equation. We're going to get the negative log of 1.53 times 10 to the negative 5. And this is going to give us a value of 4.82 for the pH. And that's going to be our final answer. Okay, and those are all of the questions that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's Q&A. Um, if you'd like to be a part of any more videos, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe video, the subscribe button and the bell next to it so that um, it lets you know when we do post. If you'd like to post questions of your own, uh, check out the links in the description for the um, one class links. Um, this has been Marlon from one class and I hope you